Thank you, Madam President. My question is for the Minister representing the Minister for Home Affairs, Senator Watt. Senator Watt, I listened very carefully to your two-minute statement just before question time, and it is not clear from me what you have said and what the Minister for Immigration has said today, whether or not the government will be releasing any of the other 92 people affected by this decision before or after the High Court has handed down the reasons for its decision. Which is it? What you told the Senate yesterday, which is that no one else will be released until the High Court has handed down its decision, or what the Minister for Immigration said today, which is the government will now begin the process of releasing those other 92 people. Thank you, Senator Patterson. Minister Watt. Uh, thank you, President, and thank you, Senator Patterson. Uh, in fact, thank you, Senator Patterson, for giving me the opportunity to correct uh, the misrepresentation of my remarks yesterday in question time that you've engaged in. Uh, the, I was very clear, and I invite anyone to have a look at the hand side of yesterday's question time to see what I actually said on this matter, rather than uh, how Senator Patterson has chosen to twist my words in the media today. Um, uh, and again, I refer Senator Patterson to the statement that I made just prior to question time, so that everyone was in a position to understand the latest developments on this significant decision. Um, it is obviously a significant decision, and, and as I said in my two-minute statement, all Australian governments are bound by decisions of the High Court. Um, the decision uh, was only handed down a couple of days ago, uh, and we have been acting quickly uh, to interpret that decision, uh, bearing in mind that, that reasons for the decision have not yet been provided by the High Court. Uh, but I refer in, in broader answer to Senator Patterson's question. Uh, he seems to be aware that Minister Giles issued a statement early this morning providing a further update on this matter, and I will read it to the Chamber. The Government notes the High Court ruling on November 8 in NZYQ against the Minister for Immigration. We are considering the implications of the judgment carefully and will continue to work with authorities to ensure community safety is upheld. The plaintiff has been released, as ordered by the High Court. Other impacted individuals will be released, and any visas granted to those individuals will be subject to appropriate conditions. And that is what is occurring. Uh, any further statements or any further announcements about releases will obviously be made in due course. Uh, but the fundamental point here is that we are already complying with the High Court's decision in relation to the plaintiff. The minister has made clear. Uh, his intentions regarding other individuals who may be affected by the decision, and as I say, other announcements will Thank be made you, in Minister due course. Watt. Has Senator Patterson first supplementary? Thank you, Madam President. Senator, yesterday in the Senate, you said in response to a question from Senator McKim, "We are not a government that acts on decisions that haven't had the reasons released." So, which is it? Will any of these people be released prior to the High Court handing down their decision, or? Consistent with what you said yesterday, will they only be released after the High Court has handed down the reasons for its decision? Thank you, Senator Patterson. Minister Watt. Yeah. Well, Senator Patterson can choose to twist my words in whatever he, way he wants to make a political statement. Uh, that's entirely his right. It is politics. And if, if Senator Patterson wishes to play politics with this important matter, then that's a matter for him. Uh, the, the, I repeat Order. the statement from the Order. Minister for Immigration this morning uh, that the plaintiff has now been released. And as I said in my two-minute statement, he has been released subject to very strict conditions. Uh, and, and they include he has been put on a bridging visa with strict conditions. Those conditions include the requirement. Um, Minister Watt, please resume <coughs> your seat. Senator Patterson. Uh, on direct relevance, point order of direct relevance. I did not ask about the plaintiff. I asked about the other 92 people and when they will be released. Will it be now or after the High Court hands down its reasons? Uh, and the minister is being relevant. Senator Patterson, and I'll, I will continue to listen carefully, Minister. Well, as I say, I refer to my previous answer, which referred to the minister's statement this morning, which said that the plaintiff has been released as ordered by the High Court and other impacted individuals will be released and any visas granted to those individuals will be subject to appropriate conditions. Uh, the conditions that have been applied to the plaintiff as, uh, following his release include the requirement to report to the Department of Home Affairs, to notify the Minister of Changes to his address or personal details, restrictions on industries of employment and a range uh, of other you, strict Minister conditions. Uh, Senator Patterson, second supplementary. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, Minister, some of the people who will now be released have been convicted of serious, violent and sexual offences. How many of them have been assessed by a court to be of a moderate or high risk of reoffending? Thank you, Senator Patterson. Minister Watt. 
Um, well, again, President, uh, all of these matters are being worked through by the minister as we speak and have been ever since the High Court handed down its decision. We have made very clear from the moment this decision was handed down uh, that this government uh, regards community safety as paramount uh, in all cases, uh, and especially in relation uh, to the cases that we're talking about here. We are considering the implications of the High Court judgment carefully, and we will continue to work with authorities to ensure that community safety is upheld. Uh, the government will use all available, available powers to keep the community safe and we'll consider all legislative and regulatory um, Minister, options. Minister, please resume your seat. Yep. Senator Patterson. Madam President, on direct relevance, the minister did not even come near my question of how many have been assessed by the courts to be of moderate or high risk of reoffending. Uh, Minister Wong, did you? Have, uh, thank you, Senator Patterson. Um, the minister's finished his contribution. Senator Stewart.